Hey everybody, it's Mike and Roger for this week's fishing report. Mm -hmm. So, so what we got Mike? Rockfish. Where, Where are they at? Everywhere. Everywhere. Now, in the bay. No. Let's, let's start off. Them. Let's start off with certain fishing okay. for rockfish. So rockfish. You want to talk jigging? Jigging, yes. Jigging has been really, really good. Still using the bigger baits, not necessarily the four and five inch um like uh jerk shads or anything like that but still using the seven um an eight inch um i prefer the z-mans their uh, busta makes a good the fat boy um things like that for those little bit bigger fish because there have been some bigger fish the bridge pilings have been doing they pretty have, well with yeah. any moving um current like, yeah, tide, as long as you got tied you're, you're pretty good, good um north of the bridge love point even all, three point yeah up to Tolchester, i've heard has been, even, yeah it's doing that whole thing again so that's mm -hmm. that's good yeah. um but yeah anything where you're finding um a bunch of fish marking them you know always throw a jig down yep. and um hopefully produce some fish uh live lining yeah i was gonna say in that same kind of if you're jigging for them and they're eating jigs they certainly will eat a live spot <laughs> oh, by far so yeah if, if you're marking fish you just can't get them to bite actually while we're talking about spot Spot, you can go catch pretty much anywhere right now. Yes, they are everywhere. So we you're out jigging, and they're just not biting, and you've tried LJ's technique of reeling really fast, and they're still not biting. Um, take up a sabiki, go to a hard bottom, like 10, 12 feet of water around the bridge has been really good, mm -hmm. um, and just kind of bounce bottom and pick up some spot and go live line them. Um, it's very, very tough for a rockfish to turn down a last spot. Yes, even if there is no tide, no current, and you put that in front of its face, and it's, it's just and swiggling. It's just kind of, like, yeah, they're, oh, they're going to want to eat that. Yeah. Um, white perch. Oh, let's start chumming. Yeah, yeah, while we're, yeah, while while we're, we're still on rockfish. rockfish chumming, chumming has been, been doing good. Yeah. Um, still a lot of catfish, but they're also catching a lot of rockfish, right. which is nice because like, a couple weeks ago, they weren't catching like they're they uh, catching any rockfish any rockfish it was lots of catfish lots of catfish though. there's still lots of catfish but there's also a lot of rockfish yeah. mixed in which and is really nice like we were saying earlier bigger ones too we've heard 30 35 inches um caught north of the bridge chumming yeah um, pedicory point's always a good yeah. good place to go um love point and up and towards tolchester even brick house bar if you yeah. can find a good spot or not brick house bar um belvedere belvedere shoals yeah. that's what i meant yeah both start with the b <laughs> yeah um up that way has been really good Good as well yeah um perch. so yeah perch as roger highlighted for yeah the, the, the sabikis these are especially these two these are our custom sabikis these have been flying off the shelves and have had nothing but good reports about these have, just, with bait without bait with, with and with yeah exactly yeah. fish bites blood worms you can put grass shrimp men anything or just nothing or nothing. And just bounce them on the bottom yeah. and you'll still catch fish oh, yeah like um, said, which is like i say i always have some of these even in my jigging bag, because if I can't get them to bite on a jig, I'll just go catch a couple spots and start live lining. Yep. As we're on to perch. Yes. The, the wild and crazy perch hounder. Has been wild and crazy. It has. Um, yes, this has taken off. People apparently are killing perch on this. I know um, I was catching crabs off my um, boss's dock, and he had that on a rod tied up. Yeah. and. I caught a bunch of perch on it in Whitehall, broke it off, switched to another color, and got half as many fish. Right, yeah. Went to the store, bought one, came bought back, one, came to back. replace it, and continued to catch, catch fish one, almost every cast. I don't know what it is, but that color is just, it's... Yeah, they love it. They, they absolutely love it. I've heard the it. same thing. Yeah, it's I've been heard great. Of things. Um, let's talk about trout. Trout, trout some drum. The, Tangier is yes, the Tangier sound has been really good. Um, anything farther south is better, but there are have been reports of people catching them in like the South River. Um, yeah, puppy like, drum. Yeah, yeah puppy yeah, drum. Yeah, yeah. The Magathy. I've heard of one or two puppy drums surprisingly this right. time of year. Um, Super just early. For using that. like perch pounders and stuff like perch fishing, and then hooking up to yeah. a puppy drum. Yep. Um, I know. I just recently went down to Solomon's uh, going for trout. It was a little slow day for trout, but we mm -hmm. did catch a puppy drum on um, this Slam Shady Z-Man Minnows. Um, great with, of course, with, like yeah, with that exact combination yep. right there. The Procure and the Z-Man and the um, GI 316th ounce eel was, was great. Um, but And honestly, don't be hesitant to throw this if you want to catch big white perch. I yeah. remember two years ago, I went and caught the heck out of white perch on um, these yeah. on at thomas point just reeling it slow and catching we were catching 12 to 13 inch white perch 
have a pretty cast. That's it crazy. was the craziest thing I've ever yeah. seen. Um, so if you're going for rockfish trout, redfish, throw a smaller bait, you'll still catch them and still catch some white perch. Right. Yeah. Crabbing. So yeah, crabbing. Um, from what I hear, it's been really, really good in certain areas and starting to get better in other areas. Mm -hmm. So I've heard kind of Severn, basically kind of south of the bridge, um, has been fantastic crowding. Fantastic. Yes. The north, not as much. So if you want to go, I'm sure all the creeks on like the shore, like Thompson Creek, right. and, um, all those are going to be good, but not so much north yeah. for some reason. So I went out in the Magathy on Tuesday, um, caught a couple dozen, but we really had to work for them. Uh, I mean, yeah. a lot of throwbacks too. It was fun. We're pulling up crabs at least, but I think we ended up taking about two dozen home with us in yeah. about three, four hours. So That's better not than nothing. fire, but yeah. And I was in Whitehall the other day and caught three quarters of a bushel. Yeah. Like, Just, yeah. So they're definitely so. there. Severn River, South River, South the Bridge, like we're saying, mm -hmm. has been, from what we've heard, a lot better. And from what you've experienced, a lot yes. better. <laughs> snakeheads. Haven't heard too much on snakeheads. I, I think it's the, the, they, they should be spawning right now. So. That will slow the bite down a little bit, but mm -hmm. you can still go catch those big snakeheads. Yep. Top water's been heating up, swim baits. You Obviously, can throw, minnows I was say, good. a giant bull minnow on a yep. big bobber. Fantastic way yep. to catch them, especially when they're spawning. If you hold that, just like a live spot in front of a rockfish, if you put that, yeah, you put that minnow right in front of it. It's gonna piss it off, and it's gonna at, at some point he's gonna eat that thing. Yeah. <laughs> so, snakehead has been good down Blackwater. Um, the Patuxent has been pretty decent. I've heard. Um, a little bit slower even but in the rivers around here people rivers, more Southern and more river. snakeheads are yeah, being caught in the Severn and Magathy it's pretty fantastic yeah. yeah um the coastal areas yeah I've heard uh some decent reports of tuna I think they're starting to catch some offshore yeah, now I've um, seen some reports of guys catching some of their under bluefin um and a couple guys catching their over bluefin but mostly the unders but it's their their tuna out there yeah um so any day it's gonna yeah. turn on and then a lot of guys going for tile fish when they're on their way back catching the heck out of some golden Big tile fish um sea bass has been doing really well for the offshore wrecks i've heard that as well i heard they're killing sea bass out there killing right them yes just bottom fishing too. um on the wrecks like a couple miles out all the way up to um like 30 miles right. out um using clam like sea clam and um squid strips so they squid uh, stuff with these there. no flounder of course not yet but sea bass have been out of control yeah um i have heard that as well yeah, yeah. um i think that's i think that covers we, most of the species around yeah. here most of the areas around most here part, yeah drum, the big drum are still showing up down yeah, in virginia yeah. i forgot to tell, talk yes. about that yes big drum, drum. cobia Virginia. I actually even heard of uh, some Spanish mackerel caught down by like the target ship and everything. Ooh, Spanny Max. So they should be up here pretty soon. Mm -hmm. um, it's been a great year so far. Tons of different species. Yeah. The water's been good. The little bit less rain, mm -hmm. hotter. I was saying spot are already up here. It's been great. Puppy drum are already up here. Specs are already, it, it's, it's unbelievable. Shaping up to be a pretty good fishing season. Oh yeah. yeah. So we appreciate it guys. Well, thanks for watching and we'll see you next week. Thanks.